another avian <laughs> flu? Well, here is what is important, and we've talked about this from the beginning of this pandemic. The world of zoonotic and emerging infectious diseases is always at work. They're not just focused on COVID and SARS-CoV-2. So right now, some news that's getting some attention is about a new strain of an avian flu known as H5N8. In December to January of this year, it has been associated with killing more than seven million birds in Europe and Asia. In February of this year, Russia detected the first known animal to human infection in someone who, by the way, was not clinically ill. The World Health Organization is considering this at this time low risk. We want to emphasize low risk for human to human transmission. And that's of the end of February. But again, people are keeping an eye on this. Uh, Robes, you seem genuinely upset with her. I mean, <laughs> I don't mean to kill the messenger uh, by uh, any means. Thank you. No. You've been talking to us about how these things evolve in animal species. Cause for concern there, yes, no? Most pandemics do start in animals, but for this to be a concern, it would have to spread rapidly, cause severe disease in humans, and demonstrate human to human sp spread. So right now, no, it's not a concern, but people are keeping an eye on it. And the CDC is launching a candidate vaccine program for this strain. As the kids say, JIC, just in case. But it bears <laughs> repeating that infectious disease specialists are keeping an eye on multiple things, not just COVID. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.